This video is sponsored by Aura and let me tell you guys about the service they provide to make our lives better. As long as we access the internet with our devices, we are always under threat from some forms of identity theft, which range from people stealing and hacking into your personal information, banking information and even social media accounts. As technology grows more complex and advanced, so do scams, cyber criminals and fraudsters. I believe it is time to rethink how we keep our information safe and secure online. That is where Aura comes in. This company is making an all-in-one intelligent safety solution that is simple to understand and easy to use. While many security services offer monitoring and account tracking, Aura goes a few steps further by providing antivirus, a password manager and VPN services. If you download the Aura app, it's really easy to set up and you don't have to download several different apps to get things like parental controls, antivirus, VPN, password management, identity theft insurance and more as all of these functions are included in one app. This means that you get everything at one affordable price. Let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online so that you can focus on other tasks with peace of mind. You can click the link to Aura in the description box or go to aura.com slash Senna to get a 14 day free trial to experience the platform. This video is going to be another day in the life and I hope you enjoy watching this video. Here I am doing my upper body workout. Lately, I've been stuck around 102.5 kgs or 105 kgs for 8 reps. My left wrist started hurting, so I've been trying to find the perfect width for my bench press. No matter how careful you are, injuries do occur when playing sports or going to the gym for a long time. It is important to rest every now and then, but more importantly, it is important to strengthen the parts that are causing pain or move and stretch them to encourage the healing process. So it is Friday today, I've got a day off uh, because I've got work uh, during the weekend. Since I've got some protein at home, I started drinking a banana milkshake with the chocolate protein um, for breakfast. In my previous video, I told you guys that I'm not an evening or night person. Uh, I've, I've always been a morning person and I get really tired in the evening or at night after work. Um, you know, I don't really have much energy. And one of you guys pointed out that I should have more protein for breakfast to boost my energy. I agree with that comment. I think what we consume is quite important, but I believe that the main reason why I don't have a lot of energy after work is that I spend a lot of energy at work. In our era, especially, we tend to blame ourselves. It's like, if something isn't working, we would be like, oh, we should be doing this, doing that. Like, you know, meditation, eating healthy, getting up early, so that we can do more, so that we can be more. And that's like the popular, I guess, trend among everybody, like increasing productivity, increasing everything around you 
so that you can be the most efficient person on this earth kind of thing. You know, I don't totally disagree with it. You know, uh, really focusing on what you eat, uh, how you live your life and everything is important. But there are definitely some elements that you just cannot control. Unfortunately, no matter how much we improve ourselves, if the system in society isn't improving, then there's always a limit in terms of how much we can improve ourselves, right? So, for example, if the system changes in Japan to be like, all of us now work four days a week in three days rest, and that one thing would improve a lot of our lives, more than individuals trying to improve their daily lives by becoming more efficient, if that makes sense. A lot of times I feel like we are super good at finding ways to be better within the system that we have. And definitely that's very important. Say it's common to work 40 hours per week. It is important to think about how we can make the most of it in the 40 hours, right? But we can also question the system itself. Like, oh, okay, so we've been working 40 hours per week for a long time or more. Is it definitely the best way for us to live our lives? And obviously changing system is way more challenging than improving uh, individuals' lives. But without questioning the system, we would always feel like, like everything is our own fault, you know? That's sometimes how I feel about things. I don't know if I'm right or wrong, but hey, it's just how I feel. I've been cutting my hair for many years and I learned it by watching other haircut YouTube videos. I mean, I've never been properly taught by others, so I have a lot to learn about cutting and fading my hair, but it is a fun skill that I would like to keep improving. Now I am preparing my lunch and dinner for the upcoming week. I like making anything that is quick and easy. So for my lunch, I decided to cook some meat and vegetables and add skiaki sauce. For dinner, I added some vegetables with a sufficient amount of tomato pasta sauce that would last for one week for me and my girlfriend. That's the end of the video today. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know in the comment section below and I'll see you guys later. Bye.